लाइमलाइट फिल्म अवार्ड्स गत सात बचर धरे आयोजित अनुष्ठान बीरतर अन्तम जनप्रिय शर्ट फिल्म कम्पिटन ए पर्यत अनु प्राय चौदश शर्ट फिल्म प्रदर्शित हो आयोजन मुखरित हो प्राय पांच छजन खतन चलचित्र और टी अनुष्ठान निर्मता और तारकाले पदचारण यह आयोजन दीर्घ दिन धरे एगे चले जार सफल नेतृत्व मसुर आली मसुर आली सम्प्रति तैरी कर महान मुक्तिजुद्ध भित्तिक चलचित्र संग्राम चलचित्र इतोम प्रशंसित भिन्न मात्रा मानुषर इतिहास दर्शक आजकल कम्यूनिटी चैम्पियन लाइम लाइट फिल्म अवार्ड और मंसुर आली आसन जानी Welcome back uh, to Community Champions. Uh, I am joined tonight by uh, four distinguished guests, um, and the trailer that you just watched now was of Shongram, uh, the feature film, which is produced, written, and directed by a British-born Bangladeshi. Which makes me feel very proud because it's about time that we have people in our community who can produce and direct and write these kind of fantastic feature films. What do you think, Murad? Yeah, I mean, I, I think as a community, we may have invested too much time in uh, in the political field. Mm -hmm. So it's good to see um, Bangladeshis uh, with. Uh, aspirations in other fields and I think uh, in this case it's the film industry um, and I think uh, this is a valuable mm -hmm. input um, given it's not just a, a romantic tale but it's also a historical Absolutely. lesson of the liberation of Bangladesh which many mm -hmm. of us or many of our families certainly went through uh, and uh, I s it certainly jogged my memories mm -hmm. as, as a small kid. Fantastic. I'll come back to you about that because you are more involved in this than, than we are uh, <laughs> talking. Right, Mansoor. 1971, I'm um, giving away my age now, I was born in 1971. You were born in 1971? Yes, I was born in 1971. Now, obviously, you know, born at that time, I wasn't, you know, I wasn't um, old enough to know what's going on. But this film, Shongram, you know, when I watched the trailer with you, uh, or the actual film, you know, it just brought so many, um, like, like uh, Murad said, you know, memories for other people who were, who went through this in, in, in 71 and who are here now in the UK and having watched this film or those who watched this film will definitely bring back memories for them of what they've been through, what their family's been through. Now, you being a British-born Bangladeshi, what made you, you know, decide to make a film on Bangladesh liberation? 
I grew up in the UK. I was actually born in Silet. I came here when I was two years old. So, was a, you know, yeah, but yeah. yeah, practically, you know, uh, brought up here. Born yeah, up absolutely. Here. But I suppose um, quite a combination of things. I always heard about this term Shangram, which means struggle. Yeah. Uh, my parents talked about it, the atrocities which happened, but I never took it seriously because I just couldn't relate to it. You mm. know, the language they were talking about, or you know, the, the level of the language, if you like. Uh, it's only in my late teens when I was questioning my identity, my background, my roots, uh, I start, started to you know, look further into my uh, background, if you like, and uh, a bit about the language itself as well. And I was just quite fascinated by the amount of uh, uh, activity that took place, not just in 71, but from partition in 47, which actually led up to 71. Mm. Uh, and in Bangladesh, there's always stories and arts and culture about Shangram 71. But when we come to the UK or abroad, uh, we either can't relate to the information or the films made over there. And we l we've so badly lost touch with what's actually happened in 71. Murad, you know, he's got actual family members which he can talk about more about, yourself mm -hmm. as well. I, of course, wasn't, bo wasn't born at that time, but, you know, directly and indirectly why I'm in the UK was because partly to do with Shangram, the mig mass migration in the mm -hmm. 60s and 70s mm -hmm. as well. So I felt like it's about time we told this story, but it had to be done in a cer certain way with certain characters that it's not a Bangladeshi film per se. It's a British film with a Bangladeshi essence at, um, or Bangladeshi soul, if you like. Mm. Uh, and the way we wanted to do this was having international stars, which we had Anupam Kher uh, in, in the film. We had Argy Argento that starred in numerous films, and one of them is a Triple X with Vin Diesel. So we got a, it's the first time we have a Bollywood and Hollywood cast members working alongside Bangladeshi cast members. We shot it mostly in uh, the Silet region of Bangladesh. So what, what, what were your, um, you know, you, you obviously you've managed to um, bring in you know, Bollywood stars and Hollywood stars and Bangladeshi. Now, what, uh, what was the criteria for your selection for these actors? You know, for example, why did you go find Pumkhir? What was See, about Anupam Pumkhir to play that role? If I make a film about Bangladesh with only Bangladeshi stars, automatically seen as a Bangladeshi film, which mm. it can't be for, for, you know, for, for, my, for several reasons. One of them is that I need to tell this uh, story of Shangram to a younger audience, mm -hmm. whether it's Bangladeshi or non-Bangladeshi, you know, all throughout, uh, you know, globally. Yeah. Importantly, it's, it's got to be appealing to Bangladeshis living abroad, as I just said, but also to non-Bangladeshis. Otherwise, we again defeat the purpose of telling a story about Shangram. Uh, so in doing so, if we can have international artists on board, it widens the market, it widens the interest. So it's a bit of a, if you like, commercial tactic. Um, but it was a fantastic um, way of producing an independent film. We had Argy Argento, as I mentioned. We were in Cannes, everyone, when they saw the flies Listen, and the I would, I would regard um, Anupam Kher. I don't know, Murad, if you know Anupam Kher. <laughs> Anupam Kher as, I don't know, the Morgan Freeman of, mm. you know, Bollywood. Mm. Would I be yeah. close? Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, how did you manage to persuade him to See, feature in this film. I, I will, we, we sent the script to a few people when we thought, you know, let's just see what happens. And it was, a couple of it were through contacts. But they all came on board because their perception was that, you know, we, in, in, the, in the global sphere of filmmaking, we know about the First World War, Second World War, Vietnam War, and to some extent the Gulf War. But what is this liberation war? Now, when they heard about the numbers, you know, the genocide, the violation of women's rights, uh, about eight to ten million people fleeing from Bangladesh. They, they, they were like, well, we were around at this time, but okay. you know, we never really heard about these. Uh, and Anupam Kher, he's from Kashmir originally, so he knows about the conflicts, religious conflicts as well. I'm a big fan. I think he's a fantastic mm. actor. He was really, yeah. he was really cool to work with. I was really nervous when I was doing my first take with Ajia and Anupam Kher, both my senior. Arjay uh, has been working since she was eight years old. Anupam Kher is I can't believe things. this guy I'm seeing next to you actually directed Anupam Kher. Come on, well, I, this I, is I, amazing. I was, <laughs> yeah, I was nervous, but from, uh, from uh, immediately after the first wow. take, you know, they were really, really cool to work with. And, and you know, these guys, we see them working with big A-list Hollywood, Hollywood stars. Yeah. And Arjay, for example, we had one of the crew members uh, offering a brolly, an umbrella for, for, for the sun when we were filming last August. But she, you know, she just told everyone to get lost and just, she, she just sat on the curbside having a cigarette. And this is Argy Argento, you know, just so cool. But, you know, these people really felt this independent movement and Fantastic. they were really uh, involved, you know, physically, emotionally involved in this uh, Shangram, the tale that we wanted to tell. And, and the, uh, the, the, uh, the actor, actress from Bangladesh? Yes, uh, Aman is the le lead character and Ruhi... How did you select them? Did you go for a selection, I don't know, yes. Palantine? Or yes, yes. Yeah. We, we before I flew out to Bangladesh, I had a, a, a production manager 
in, in Bangladesh. She was helping me narrow down the cast. So I said to him, I need this kind of criteria, I need, you know, this. Uh, Aman's done quite a lot of Bangladeshi based films. Ruhi was her first film, but since then she's done three other films. But she comes from a very glamorous kind of modeling background. So when I was first introduced to Ruhi, I thought, no, it's not going to work right. because she's got that glam attached to her. Uh, and I needed a very simple looking 70s girl. Uh, but then when we gave her the script and we went, when we had the auditionings, uh, her and Amon on screen, she came very enough for the audition, very, okay. uh, very simplified, not the glam type of girl. Uh, I was still a bit sceptical, but when they did a couple of the scenes together, me and the team that when we were in Bangladesh, we thought, you know, these guys, you know, they look good on screen together and they can perform the roles we want. And they were very, very dedicated. And that's what, you know, we needed. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Now, Peter, you've seen Trangram? Yes. So what, 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 are your, what are your thoughts on? I, I really enjoyed it. Yeah. I say. Did you, before, before the film, were you aware of the, uh, you know, the 1971? Um, only very kind of vaguely. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I was, I was around in 71. <laughs> were you? Uh, yeah, yeah. I was, I was. 1971. I'd have been about eight, I think. So, um, so yeah, I got, I got those kind of vague memories of yeah. something happening, but I wasn't really that p politically aware. So, so after, after um, watching the film, did you feel that you know you've, you've got a lot of information from the film about yeah, what it took place? Yeah, you know, I, I mean, ov obviously th th that isn't really necessarily what the film's about, and I, th I think mm. it would be a mistake for it to be kind of didactic in that way, mm. to be mm. just a kind of piece of propaganda about something. So, you know, what I always look for when, whenever I watch films or whenever I'm kind of tutoring my students is, is that kind of emotional aspect that kind yeah. of that makes it real. And I, I thought it, it kind of had that in, in mm -hmm. buckets full, you know, it, it was a really engaging story between these, these two characters. And that's kind of why I enjoyed it so much. Is there any, speci um, any specific scenes or that comes to um, I, the, the scene when, um, I, I can't remember the character's names, but the, yeah. the, the, the hero kind of finds his true love again after it's all finished and she's been kind of married off to oh. another character and that, that was kind of heartbreaking. And, you know, it, it's kind of like the, the, his, his sort of nobility and in, in kind of everything that he went through and all he could think about was trying to get back to his true love. And then it, it can't ever be a kind of happy ending. Was wow, fantastic! Um, but yeah. so thank you very much, Murad. I know we've touched on this before, um, but you were actually involved in uh, supporting this project, Songram. Uh, you've helped Monsoor, uh, not just morally, but also from your wallet. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I like to think uh, I'm, I'm a politician who puts his money where his <laughs> mouth is. Uh, that's not to encourage people to come to me with uh, business ideas at all. But no, uh, what, what, yeah, <laughs> the, uh, what, what, what I found was actually when when so first approached me, I, it was clear to me he knew what he was doing. My producer's producer just said I'll speak to you after the show. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it, it was clear to me he, he knew what he was doing. I'm no film buff, but I got a sense. I got a sense of things. And, you know, I do get approached for various but things. Mark, you, you, your father was very much involved. Oh, right? yeah. I mean, the, 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 so you the, must the have shuttle. heard from him. Yeah, no, no. I, the, the, well, I was actually there. You know, yeah. I, was, I was a four-year-old kid. So the interesting thing was, I mean, I hadn't seen the full length until recently. Yeah. But I, I got a very good sense that Monson knew what he was doing right. and was going to was technically competent. Again, I'm not, you know, I don't know uh, in a front of a camera to a back <laughs> of a camera, but he seemed to know what he was doing. And it just, and he, he had... He had uh, an idea about uh, this romantic tale, someone mm. finding himself, and also a country, and then people find themselves. And I think he put it in the right context, and that convinced me, actually, this makes sense. And, I, he, and he'll verify, I actually approached him if he wanted any support. Oh, fantastic. Uh, he then came back to me and said he wanted more, actually, than <laughs> I did. You know, that's life. Yeah. And um, I'm, I'm, I, 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 I am glad I've done it, because in some ways, you see, it's odd when I, once, uh, when I recently saw the premiere, when I did see the full length, mm. uh, it touched a few, a few nerves that ha have been very raw in the back, in my, um, back of my childhood experience. For example, the scenes about uh, the, 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 uh, the, the family's uh, leaving the village to go to India. Now, my family had a similar experience. Mm. Um, more recently, um, you know, and it's, it's, it's funny how those, those experiences lie dormant and suddenly they kind of open up. And 
Uh, I do want to show my mum the film. Uh, I'd, uh, I think she, she would be able to relate to it, and a lot of uh, people. Because actually, uh, you know, if you look at our family histories, uh, we, we'll know very directly Absolutely. what happened. You know, in, in, in our case, we, we had two uncles killed. And you know, so you know, there's, there's a context. Yeah. It, it, will, it will definitely touch a nerve Absolutely. once the community sees and engages with it. But also, you know, there, there's, 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 a, there's a tale there, and it's film worthy. I quite like. Uh, I, I was quite. Can I interrupt you for one Sorry. second? We've got a caller. Ah, let, let's let's take the call. Hello, assalamualaikum. Hello. Assalamualaikum, boy. Assalamualaikum. Who's Salaam. this? Um, I'm from Cardiff. Cardiff. From Cardiff. Yeah. Yeah, boy. Yes. Can I have your phone number? Oh, I have to go to court. Uh, so much that I did this assault. So much. Sorry, but I'm not sure. I can't understand. Anyway, please call back again. We uh, there's some disturbance in the line. Okay, sorry. All right, I'm going to go to Stephen now. Yeah. Hello. Stephen, you you actually acted in the film. You are you you know. Uh, yes. What what role did you play? And I played a gentleman called Mike, who had not Stephen. Not Stephen. <laughs> no 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 no. Um, uh, I I I won't go too deeply no, into no. what Mike's. Uh, involvement is in the storyline, but I can say that it's uh, a small yet decisive role, and I share um, a scene with the wonderful Asia Argento. In you did a fantastic film. Wow! <laughs> and did you enjoy the character you played? You know, was it something that you? Um, yes, every character is enjoyable. Yeah, every character is <laughs> enjoyable. Um, uh, what I found most enjoyable about it was the intensity of the scene and the. Uh, the brevity of writing, so that it would uh, communicate immediately, the uh, 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 and perhaps emotionally, within the whole uh, context of the storyline. Um, I didn't get an opportunity to see the full script uh, before then, but I'm I was extraordinarily uh, overjoyed and reassured to see the film because it is a a, a, a remarkable picture uh, of great mm -hmm. beauty. And did you, um, before you know, signing up, know much about Bangladesh? I and it was struggles I, I, went through. I was a, a young child at the time. I remember th there being quite a lot of talk of it uh, at my school, but uh, it's not something that I related to because uh, we had the, the Vietnam thing going on at the same time. And there was a, a lot of um, uh, unpleasant things going on in the world at that time, as indeed there are today. But uh, so I, at that young age, I didn't quite relate to it. So uh, when I saw the brief come through. Uh, in an email where I was looking out for some roles, and I thought, wow, a 1971 romance set in the context of the, the Bangladesh yeah. uh, liberation time. It, it certainly struck me, and I thought, well, well, I'll put my name in there, but I think they'll get a big household name for this role. So I didn't expect to be seen for the role, to be honest. Oh, fantastic. And uh, how do you say um, the uh, monster is as a director? Is he, uh, is he very demanding? Is he. Uh, <laughs> Quiet, <laughs> man. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, I think that Monsoor has, uh, like all good auteurs, or even great auteurs, uh, he has grasped a, a huge uh, uh, dimension of, of a nettle, if that's the right phrase to use, and he's, he's brought it off to commensurate uh, uh, levels. Ah, oh, fantastic. Yeah. Monsoor, quickly, the storyline of Shung Ram. What, what, you know, inspired you to, I know, w we all know it's in this liberation, it's you know, Bangladesh, but you still, he added a fantastic, you know, love story in between, you know. Yes. Now, I know, you know, Shongram in struggle, but let's tr ask about your tr struggles, you know, to make, in making the film, going all the way to Bangladesh. It's not easy, going to Bangladesh and, you know, finding the right equipment or the, the right people to actually help you to uh, make this film, but how was the struggle <laughs> in Bangladesh? Strong Ram, is, uh, the film is about struggle. Yeah. The whole production was a struggle. Um, you Sorry, Monsa, can I take a call? Yeah, yeah, let's, see, let's see who's on the line. Hello. Hello, Assalamualaikum. My name's Lal. Hi, Zakir Bhai. Uh, I'm Azad. Um, Hello. Hi, Monsa. Uh, my name is Azad. Azad, you need to turn your um, TV volume down because it's, it's yeah, echoing. Yeah, hold your line, hold your line. <laughs> Yes, completely, yeah. Please. Hi, Mansoor. Hi, Adal, how are you? Yes, Adal, we can hear you. Yep, carry on. Okay, um, uh, hi, Mansoor. My name is Adal. I watched your film. I went to Left Square and watched 
I did watch your film. It's really nice. You, you made it brilliant, brother. You made it proud. I mean, I was watching the movies. You done really uh, brilliant work. And I'm so, I like the film. And everybody liked the film as well. well. I mean, so Azad, where, you, where are you calling from, Azad? Bangladesh. Azad, where are you calling from? I'm calling from home. I'm calling from <laughs> home. Where? Home. home. I don't home, home. yeah. <laughs> Whereabouts? My house, so that's why. It's got a lot of noise. <laughs> Do you want to, Monty, do you want to speak to Yeah, you? Azad, uh, thank you very yeah. much for coming and watching the film. Your words mean a lot to me because uh, part of uh, the filmmaker's dreams and visions are not only to tell the story, but also to be able to uh, get some reaction yeah. and feedback from the audience because that tells us if we're being able to engage with the audience, if you're uh, not only enjoying it, but if you can take something away. And, you know, the fact that you've called in, you've come to Leicester Square, it's the first time a Bangladeshi-based film was mm. premiered at Leicester Square. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, you being there, your support, and everyone else who's come, we really, really appreciate it. And you called well, in... Well, I, I recently... Uh, mm, recently, I went back home. Recently, I went back home and... Yeah. Recently, I went back home and I'd done the film as well. And it was uh, very hard because I know in you Bangladesh it's really hard. You made a film. film. He's making, he's making a film in Bangladesh. You're yeah. making a film yourself, Azad? No, I'm acting in it. Oh, you're acting in it? I did, yeah, I'm acting in it. It's, uh, yeah. And uh, is it, it's, quite, it's not easy, is it, in Bangladesh to go on... Uh, do anything. Do anything, <laughs> <laughs> really. <laughs> okay, Azad, thank you very much for your call. Thank you. Thank you, Azad. Okay, I thought um, also act. You know, he's a an actor. He's acted in. He's, I think he made two Bangladeshi films in the past. He? Yeah, he's he's also you know British uh, British uh, uh, young man, and he's made two films in Bangladesh. And I think he's working on the third film now. So oh, right. maybe you should sign you up. Yeah, definitely. Could talk. Next Call me or email me as that. Yeah, that <laughs> get in touch with Monsoor for the next film. Okay, now uh, Monsoor. Let's sorry. Let's go back to. The storyline. Storyline is, I mean, if he, what I what I found that um, this is going from my my father passed away unfortunately uh, over a decade ago, but I never got to speak to my father properly about his experiences. He was born before partition. He was born before the Second World War, okay. so he lived through the Second World War. So he was a British uh, Indian, Bengali Indian. Okay. Then he became a East Pakistani. Then he became a British, uh, sorry, a Bangladeshi, Bangladesh. and then he became a British. Uh, citizen again when he moved over to the UK. So he had his identity changed four times without his consent or say so. Wow. And when he, when, when I used to uh, drive with my father <coughs> when I was going anywhere through Liverpool Street, for example, he would always look up in amazement and say, "Wow, this was never like this." And I never understood what he meant. Right. He was referring to uh, post Blitz era because mm. he he came to the UK in uh, mid 50s and he still remembers, you know, all the broken oh, down buildings as well yeah. after yeah. the Second World War. So that was one big regret for me that I never captured my father's oral history. I got bits and bobs, but I never had the chance to sit down you know, with him. Right. So my idea was that if I spoke to any elderly looking chap and he just looks like a normal person, if I sp took five, ten minutes to talk to him, he would have an amazing story Absolutely. to tell. So really the story is about a British Bangladeshi played by Anupam Kher at present time. He's in hospital and uh, after 40 odd years he's speaking to a journalist, Ajay Argento, and then we find out about his past. And he was a Muslim boy in love with a Hindu girl at a very difficult era in world history. Wow, fantastic. Um, we have to take another short break, and uh, this is just getting interesting, really. Uh, so please join, keep with us, um, uh, stay with us, because we need to find out a bit more about Shongram. We also need to know how you, if you're interested in filmmaking, if you're interested in being, you know, if you're an actor like Azad, who just called in, how you can work with Monsoor or get Monsoor to support you with your. Uh, projects and so on. So stay in touch and we'll see you after the break.